Jeff. Yep. Major you know? air supply head, yes. <laughs> Step inside the world of art with cool exhibits, workshops, and much more. Ashley Williams joins us live from Sacramento, checking it out. Good morning. Hello. Hi, guys. Good morning. We all know Sacramento has become quite the art, artsy city. Now, take a look around. We are in the room and art space of Susan Sylvester. Take a look around at the wall. She makes some incredible work. This also just so happens to be where she creates. This is so cool. This is the annual SAC Open Studios. This is one of the biggest I would say art events of the year. Now, Susan, right now you are doing some cool digital work. Now she's working off her iPad, and you're seeing it, seeing it there on the monitor. Tell me a little bit about what you do. I um, create my digital work on a iPad, and then I take it to the computer, print it out, and then I cover it in encaustic. So some of the pieces you'll see around here have encaustic, which is melted wax. Wow. So, so it starts digital, and yeah. that's how it ends up. And it ends up as a, and then I rework it with oil pastels and pastels wow. and things like that. This is so neat. So once again, this is the entire concept with Sack Open Studios. You get a chance to meet over 250 artists throughout the area, see what they do and how they are actually able to create. Susan, thank you so much for letting us bombard your studio. And right now, by the way, we are at the Verge for this, um, oh my goodness, Verge Center, for the, Center Arts. for the Arts. I always get tongue twisted on that. You know what? Let's go upstairs and meet another artist here. Now, really quick, Ariana, tell me a little bit about why you all put this on every year and why this is so big for the city of Sacramento. Yeah, well, this is a chance to showcase what's made and created here and to celebrate makers, artists all across Sacramento County. And I want to emphasize it's not just Verge, it's not just the city of Sacramento, it's the whole county. So yeah. it's the outlying cities. You can go all the way from the Delta to Folsom. It's a really fun yeah. chance and it's free. Good for all ages. It's we a, like free. Yeah. And by the way, it's a beautiful weekend, so why not come and walk around? This is the first weekend, by the way. So you have, you have an opportunity to do stuff, something this weekend and then next weekend. This is Katie. Look how cool her studio is. Now, I, um, Katie, you and I were talking earlier, and you said, I try to be in this space as much as possible. You're in the middle of creating something, but wow. Tell me a little bit about why it's so important to have the perfect space for you to be able to create. Oh, I would not be able to do this at home. I'm a very messy worker. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm so grateful for the space because it's great to keep my art life and my home life separate and just come in here and, like, hone in on what I need yeah. to do. I mean, again, people could walk in and, of course, meet Katie here. What kind of art do you do? I mean, it's it's beautiful. I mean, I walked in. I said, can I splatter paint on one of your pieces? I can't believe I actually I'm asked you that. for you, though. Oh, I really you do. do. So I could actually do something? Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Tell me a little. What should I do uh, here? Rubbing alcohol. Okay. So you just want to, like, Pour some on here, okay. and you'll see the effects it has. I do a, a lot in my paintings. Oh, wow. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, it's really interesting. And then so. what do you do once you put the rubbing alcohol on it? I'll let it dry, and then I'll just layer and layer back onto it. That's so. so cool. Yeah. All right, so do people have an opportunity to come in and throw rubbing alcohol on Maybe. Today's something? a new day, so <laughs> I might do something yeah, fun. This is great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Again, this is the first weekend for SAC Open Studios. Coming up in the next hour, we're going to go to another artist's home and see what she has cooking up. She also has something really cool in her front yard. I don't know what it is, but I'm told it's over the top. It's elaborate. So stay with us. Katie, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, back over to you. Thanks, I Ash. Love this. And